Hello and thanks for joining us again at Nomad PDU. Today is probably one of the most important topics and that's about the relationship of your fridge and the Nomad and how to get the most out of it. Now we've been over this a number of times previously, but there are a number of ways also now that you can run your fridge and draw everything out of the Nomad. So we're going to cover a couple of those off today. So the first thing I want you to notice is I've got one of these set up now with a SIGA DC. This is a 5 amp SIGA DC connecting to the car. And I've got to connect into a power source here just for illustration purposes. So you can see it's charging over there at the moment. And this is a 5 amp SIGA DC. The fridge I've got over here, I think it's a, a 50 litre fridge. Now it will run from 10.6 through to you know 12.6 uh, volt plus. And once it gets below 10.6, as a lot of your fridges will, if you've got your setting on low or eco, economical, so you've got a low, medium, and high setting put on the lower setting. You've got to remember the Nomad will run down to under nine volt, but your fridge might stop at 10 and a half. Very common question we'll get. Okay, so you're going to down to 10 and a half. For me, it's not a problem because if I'm off gridding, I'm always cycling my battery every day from a solar panel. So it never gets down under 11.9, 11.8, somewhere at that mark. But if you want to get everything out of the Nomad, you can do this a number of ways. Your fridge runs down and cuts out at 10.6. It's not a Nomad issue. You've still got more than half the power left in the battery. So how do you get more out of it? You can use a pocket inverter like this. You've seen us use these before, and that will turn it to 240 power. So it'll have, and that's a 10 amp one. So you can plug that into your Nomad. Remember that each one of these sockets output is rated at 10 amp, except the Anderson over here, it's rated at 20 amp. So you plug that into your Sega plug, and then you take a 240 uh, adapter for your fridge that you get with your fridge. You plug it in, the fridge thinks it's running on 240, and it's going to give it whatever current needs to run perfectly uh, or until it runs a Nomad flat. So it basically tricks in this fridge into thinking, well, it's getting its normal power supply from 240. So you can do that. So now I've got this DC, and a lot of people have picked up the DCs now because of the convenience. You can plug it into your SIGA socket and you can charge a unit. But one of the things you, you also can do with the DC, that's a 5 amp, there's also a SIGA 10 amp, uh, the 10 amp SIGA DC. So it's providing with 10 amp output, that's providing 5 amp output. But the key factor in this is this is providing a 12.6 voltage uh, to the Nomad from the power source. So what it is, it's basically a power stabilizer uh, or voltage stabilizer, if you want to call it that. Um, it's a charger, but it's basically taking whatever you're getting from over there. And this will take, uh, this is 9 to 36 volt in, and then it gives you 12.6 out. So what you could do, let's leave that plug in there. I've got a fridge here like I showed you. Now let's just plug it in so it fires up and let's see how much amp that this fridge draws. So this is this warm, it's sitting at 15 degrees now. And once this kicks in, you can see that this only draws about three and a bit. So probably three and a half. It might kick up to four, four and a quarter. Uh, I just know uh, from experience with this fridge. And it might get up to about the four amp mark going there. So you're running your fridge quite happy now and you can see the voltage over here at 11.3. This fridge will cut out at 10.6 and won't re-kick or restart and kick back in until it's over at 11 volt. And that's typical with a number of fridges. So you can plug your inverter in, plug the 240 that came with your fridge, plug it in and you can run the Nomad dry. Um, but then again, your little motor running here and it's gonna get warm. Okay, if you wanna avoid that, yes you can. So we can use these SIGA DCs for also tricking the fridge. So. As I said, coming out of here, this is 12.6 going to the Nomad from the charge. So if I pull this out now, just quickly, and I plug it into one of my power analyzers, you would have seen us do this before. So that's actually going to tell me, coming out from the, um, the power source to the source here, it's going to tell me that there's 12.6 coming out of this. And that tells me, here we go, so this is 12.6. 12.6 is getting provided at the Anderson. So regardless of what's coming out of the, um, the power source, it's going to give me 12.6. It's a stabiliser. So you can take even a 24 volt system, plug it into one of these, as long as it's between 9 and 36 volt, it'll convert it to 12.6. So what you can do, if you wanted to, is you can take one of these here. So you've driven to your campsite and you're not going to be using your, um, poc uh, your, um, your DC because you're sitting at the campsite. Your car's not running, so you're not using it. You can actually pull this out if you wanted to. Let's just take it out now. So I've just pulled that out and it's not charging. So now I'm gonna change this and reconfigure it 
So I'm now going to trick the fridge. So it's come down to 2.93, which is the amount of amp going out, 11.2, and that will drop down. Once it gets to 10.6, that fridge will stop. So what I can do, if I want to trick it, pull this out, and what I can do is I take my 5 amp, or my 10 amp stick of DC, because remember these are rated 10 amp, and this I know never gets over 5 amp. So I know my 5 amp DC cigar is going to provide me with 12.6 at this end. So if I plug that in there right now, like I have, okay, I've got power there, and I'll plug this into to see what's coming out. This says 11.3. I'm going to plug it in here, and hopefully she'll fire up if I get the connection right. There we go. Coming out of this is now 12.6. That's 11.3. So this will quite happily now, if you configure it like this and plug this fridge into it, it will run the Nomad flat. It'll run down to 9 volt, and then it's going to get everything out of the Nomad. And when we look at the, um, the fridge that's running, it was only pulling around 3 amp. This is actually quite efficient. If I plug this in now to the fridge, you can see how much amp's going to come out of it, and it's still going to be around the same. It's, prob it's probably about a 10% conversion, I guess, cost uh, by doing what's called a step-up. So this basically is a voltage stabilizer or DC-DC charge, if you want to call it. So it takes whatever you're putting in within its limitations. This is 9 to 36 volt. So you can plug the 9 to 36 volt into one of these here and out comes 12.6 and depending on the amp rating. So this is a 5 amp one we're using at the moment because... Like I said, it's only drawing three, just over three amp. That fridge is warm, it's still sitting at 15 degrees. We just fired it up. So now I could leave this plug in like this right now and forget about it. And then the, this fridge is going to happily run because it's getting 12.6. That's all it sees. And it's never going to have a see anything less than 12.6 until this runs dead and then it's going to shut down. So you can keep an actually eye on here. And even as it's coming down, it'll get down to 10, 10 and a half. It gets down to 10, nine and a half. You know at 9.5, 9.2, you're getting close to the end of the battery being flat. So if you've got a 10 amp one of these, which you'd probably use if you are using a, say, a 100 litre fridge. So a 100 litre fridge is probably going to draw, uh, I guess, between 7 and 9 amp when it kicks in and starts up the first go. So you can plug your SIGA DC, the 10 amp one, into your SIGA socket, and you're happily going to get 12.6 and 10 amp, because you've got to remember, what is your fridge going to draw an amperage? This is only drawing under five, so I can use my five amp. If that was a 100 litre fridge, then I'd have to use my 10 amp SIGA DC. But that's one of the great things about these. You could actually have two of these and be running the car at the same time charging, which you can do. So if I was going to charge this while I was running exactly this, I can do that. So let's just plug it in here. And I'll plug this in. And we'll see that there's 3.3 coming out. I'll plug this in over here. And I know that's putting in five amps, so the red light's on, it's charging, so it's putting in about two amp and it's drawing. So I could actually do that if I wanted to. So just remember, you just look at the input and the output. So these are gonna give you 12.6 constant, regardless of what voltage is the other end, down to nine volt. Once it hits nine volt, that's it, it's out. So that's probably the preferred and easiest way, as long as you sit down and take your time with your fridge, what does your fridge draw? How many amp does it draw? And your fridge will quite happily run at 12.6. We could do a step up like this to 13.8 or 14.5, but there's no necessity to do that when at 12.6 your fridge is going to run quite happily. So that's the way you can use the SIGA DC to charge the unit from the car. When you get to campsite, you can take the SIGA DC out of your vehicle, okay, which is one of the, beauty, the beautiful things about the unit. Take the unit out, take the SIGA DC out, now you can use the SIGA DC to power your fridge and suck down the Nomad right to flat. Um, never have to worry about it again. So again, it's not the limitation of the, the power because it will run down to 9 volt, but your fridge will have a limitation. Always set it to low or eco um, because it's got the low voltage um, protection uh, on, the, uh, on the fridges, on a lot, of the, a lot of the fridges that you have. So that's the way you can get around it. You can use an inverter like so. Plug your 240 that you come with your fridge and you can run it like that and it's going to do the conversion for you. But the conversion on this, will, it'll actually take more to convert the power on one of these uh, than it will one of these, which is solid state. So that's the SIGA DC 
and using your SIGA DC 5 and 10 amp to run your fridge. If you have one of these in the vehicle and it's permanently sitting in there, the car's running. It's, it doesn't matter what the car's doing. If you've got one of these sitting between the vehicle, uh, the front and back and the crank, you can plug your fridge directly into one of these because you know the output is always going to be 12.6 and 10 amp or is it going to be 5 amp. You can get these in 20 amps. You could have a 20 amp one of those but you couldn't plug it into here but you could have that in your car. You could plug the 20 amp into the Anderson output if you wanted to and you could do a Anderson to Anderson one of these and you could have 20 amp coming from there but your fridge at 100 litre is not going to draw over, uh, over 10 amp anyway. So the SIGA 5s and 10s the 40 litre to 50 litre fridges you probably get away nice and happily with the 5 amp SIGA DC, use it in the car and then use it to run the fridge. Just put it between exactly what I've done there. If you've got a power analyzer, you can just to test it and just to see how it is going. Um, and you've got your fridge plugged in as we do here. Uh, where we go? So we've got it plugged in. And if I wanted to, I could put this between the, um, the fridge and the, 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 uh, the source of power. It'll tell you exactly what it's, it's doing there is 12.6. You could leave this in if you wanted to. But that's how you use the SIGA DC to run your fridge and draw the Nomad completely flat uh, by using a DC voltage stabilizer or, a, a, or the inverter. Uh, and that's the two ways you can draw it right down. Or if you are cycling your fridge every day and you're running a say 200 watt solar panel or regulated or uh, a 300 watt regulated panel which you can run, You'll find that your fridge in the morning, you know, the sun comes out and it's going to re it's just going to cycle every day. So it may not even get under 12. So it doesn't really matter about running it right down if you if you uh, if you're in that sort of situation. But we do get a lot of questions. We've had it recently again, where people have got the fridge. It's cutting out at 10.6. How do you get around it? That's all you have to do to get around it. So you basically need to provide that with a quite comfortable anything over you know 11, 12 volt fridge is going to work fine. And these SIGA DCs will give you 12.6 uh, voltage and whatever amp rating it is. So look at what amp your fridge draws, okay, and use the right DC uh, module to do that job. So if you've got any questions, I hope that does help you. Um, it will alleviate all those issues you may have with thinking that that's the unit's not holding charge. It's not the unit, okay. It's the way the fridge works and it's the way its voltages and the range that it works with. So again, thanks for joining us and uh, take a look at other tutorials on our website. More about fridges there, but this is probably going to be the most relevant for you guys that have got a fridge or bought a Nomad just recently and have run into that issue or the challenge with the fridge. It's not a biggie, um, and these work perfectly fine. So then again, uh, thanks for joining us, and contact at Nomad PDU if you've got any other questions. Thanks again.